Hello and welcome everyone again into another video. On today's video, we have all the information we need about the new season. It's Go Battle League Max Out Update. It's the new Go Battle League season. And let's get, just go and see what is Niantic hiding for us. What's Niantic is giving for us? Cubs, themed Cubs, and move update. We already went through the move update. I made two videos previously about uh, the, the new move update, the, the winners and the losers of the new update. But now we will see most likely everything. Uh, about the new season new season august 27 this news will drop today go battle league max out update okay go battle league Ma max out update will start september 3rd which means next thursday oh so we still have another week i did not know about that september 3rd at 1 p.m the following will occur at the beginning of the season end of season reward will be available on the battle screen your go battle league rank will be reset so you go back to rank one rank up required a, a requirements will remain uh, the same as the as the prior season okay now we don't care about this this is what we this is all we need to talk about okay the following leaks will begin at the end of uh, at the end at, and end at 1 p.m pdt uh on the dates listed below so september 3rd that's when the new season starts 3 p.m central time okay and first thing first we have G uh, great league and galler cup little edition okay why galler cup little edition to be honest because everyone wants to use the new the starters from gen 8 so this is kind of like a a fun a cup a new a good addition by niantic i actually approve this okay we're gonna use like because people will be like oh nobody has those who's gonna build them so niantic actually took the time to make the update make the new season as affordable as possible so far i don't know anything but this actually good i like it this is better than great league uh sorry great great league galar cup edition no little cup edition is better because we're just gonna use the starters right uh, after that, we have a Great League, oh, sorry, Ultra League, and Galar Cup. So, Ga Galar Cup basically lasts for two weeks. After that, Master League Psychic Cup. If you guys don't know Psychic Cup, Psychic Cup is a cup that's dominated by three Pokemons. Uh, Shadow Latios, Galarian Rapidash, and Victini. Those are like the main three Pokemons. So, if you have either of those, save them for now, okay? It's not like this video is not going to be about me reading the news. Me preparing you for the new season, okay? Uh, four times adults because there is Master League, okay? Uh, after that, Great League, Ultra League, Master League, four times adults because there is Master League. Whenever you see Master League, there will always be four times adults. After that, Great League, Galar Cup, Galar Cup, Great League Edition. Okay, so now... We're talking about one month after people should have this stuff to power up so that's why we have a great league so this is actually good uh ultra league and sunshine cup uh what is sunshine cup let me check so do you guys know how we all check we just go here okay you go to my channel and you type sunshine cup because i am sure we've had this cup before oh is it the glider cup <laughs> oh i remember this cup now uh top pokemons top teams in the sunshine cup oh i remember it it's the uh it's the uh, knock towel double normal, right? What's the teams? Yeah, Stunfisk, Pidgeot, and Double. Yeah, I remember. It's actually a not bad, not not a bad cup. Uh, Master League, then Halloween Cup Little Edition. Let's oh no, let's not go. Let's not go yet. Halloween Cup is my favorite, but this one is Little Edition. So okay, let's 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 settle down with the hype a bit. Great League Remix. This is a decent cup as long as the bands are worth it okay but since it's a new season all the stuff that they are banned usually are bad pokemon so this is not that much of a good thing but yeah these cups are so far good halloween cup great league edition uh okay let's go halloween cup great league edition what does that mean this is one of the best themed cups ever okay it's going to be like poison dark dark and needle queen usually and uh Golurk, okay this is the i think last year during this time i hit legend in this cup so hopefully this is enough time for me to hit legend with this uh in this cup with the team i previously did halloween cup is actually a decent cup most of the pokemons that are usable there are like pokemons that people do generally enjoy playing stuff like Escav, uh, caesar nido queen uh, war madame uh, war madame trash female uh, great league great league ultra league master league four times a dust it's master league then great league and master premier okay master premier is back that's nice willpower cup is back let's go i love this cup dude willpower is one of the best okay 
It's actually one of the best. Uh, this cup basically is uh, the chess piece Pokemon. What's the name of the chess piece Pokemon? The one that evolved into PG Sharp. Uh, we're talking about Dark Pokemons and Galarian Rapidash. I think it's Psychic. It is... Yeah, it's Psychic, Dark, and Fighters, basically. Uh, Master League and Retro Cup. Retro Cup is actually one of my favorite, okay? So, this... Wait, this season is actually decent. We have Willpower Cup. We have Retro Cup. We have Halloween Cup. We have Sunshine Cup. All of the good, the good cups are all back. Let's go. Hey, this is nice. Catch Cup. Omega Lol. <laughs> Who cares about this, okay? Don't play Catch Cup, okay? If you play Catch Cup, I will ban you. Uh, moving on to the uh, Max Out Go Battle uh, Go Battle Weekend. Go Battle Weekend is basically what we call it Go Battle Day. Four times the dust, you get 20 sets, and it is a research. You pay $1 to get like around 30,000 dust. They're candies and one star piece. Uh, ranks, these are like typical stuff. You get a Fridgy Bax at 2750, you get a Dragonite 2500, you get Jangmo once you hit Ace, you get Hunter at round 6, you get Galarian Yan Mask. This is actually a good addition. Uh, encounters, it doesn't matter. Who cares about the encounters? Uh, because you're never getting any of these. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny one. Sure, Niantic, we all know. Okay, now for the pose. It's actually a good pose. I know there is so much hate about it. This is a good pose, okay? This is a Halloween themed cup com combined with uh, Generation 8. So it's not supposed to look as fancy as nice. It's supposed to look... Uh, what's the word you use with ghosts? Spooky? I think spooky is the word. Yeah. Does it look spooky? It does. Okay. Uh, there's a new mask adding to that. Uh, there is the... the, po the po I think it's just look spooky as spooky as Niantic could they make, okay? It's not supposed to look fancy. This is a Halloween themed cup. Okay, moving on. Cups. Galarian Cup Little Edition. Pokemon must be below 500. Only Pokemon found in the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Pokedex are eligible. So I will do... Don't worry about this. I will do another video. They will come uh, around the weekend. So don't like just say chill. You don't have to worry about anything because in this channel, we always try to prepare everyone as much as possible. So, don't worry about this cup. I will make a very a, a deep dive video into it. Psychic cup. Uh, basically, anything that's psychic. That's it. Uh, and the Mew is banned. Last time, they also banned uh, God of War. So, God of War is not banned. I don't think God of War was banned. I remember it was banned somehow, somewhere. So, Mew is banned. Why Mew is banned? Because it does super effective to everything. It has Shadow Claw, right? Galarian Cub. Pokemon must be below 1500. Only Pokemon from the Sword and Shield are eligible. Sunshine Cub. Normal, Fire, Grass, and the Ground Pokemon are eligible. It used to be the Cub where Vigoroth is insane. Now Vigoroth is so bad. Because Vigoroth gets massively nerfed with, with two hits. And Charizard is not allowed. This is actually a decent. I was about to say Charizard is actually going to be insane. But Zard is banned. W Niantic. This is very good. Halloween Cub. Little edition. Pokemon must be below 500. Uh, bug, Ghost, Dark, and Fairy. Similar for this, okay? This one is 500. This one is 1500. So, Bug, Ghost, Poison, Dark, and Fairy type Pokemon. Basically, in the Halloween Cup, anything that's Poison, Dark, is OP. That's how you think about Halloween Cup. Poison, Dark Pokemon are OP. Uh, Great League Remix. What's banned? Wigglytuff. I was about to say, like, among all the Pokemon that isn't nerfed, Wiggly is the is the most scary one uh wiggly and the charger bug so wiggly and charger bug you guys know why they banned the charger bug because of the team i play a charger bug azu feel alligator look charger bug is banned uh azu is banned gator is banned okay what about lantern double dragon uh do you see a lantern there is a lantern okay not everyone plays lantern double dragon okay guys see you guys my teams are all always banned Copium. Master League, no limit. Uh, Master Premier, no legendary. So it's basically Master League without legendary. So stuff like Metagross are OP. I do think that hopefully I will have my uh, my uh, Salamence ready in this cup so I can try to use it. I will try to convince Home Slice Henry to do a, uh, a duo during this time because last time I was jealous of when he was using Salamence and I didn't because I didn't have one. To, to use <laughs> so hopefully this time i will try to do a duo salamence i love dragonite he loves salamence maybe we do like like something double dragon i will do something fun willpower cup must be below 1500 only fighting psychic and dark pokemon so in this cup 
the old, most OP Pokemon is Galarian Rapidash. Lucky for you, we have a Galarian Rapidash community day. So don't miss out on that because you need this. You need Galarian Rapidash for this cup and you need it for Psychic Cup. In both of those cups, Galarian Rapidash is OP. It's the most insane Pokemon in a cup ever. So don't miss on the Galarian Rapidash community day. Dark Steel and Retro Cup. Dark Steel and Fairy are banned. So... It used, to, it used to be the cup where, like, normal type Pokemon are OP, but now all the normal type Pokemon are banned. Catch Cup, you have to catch anything during the season. Update to the combat. Now, moving into the update. Uh, we, we already went through this. Rock Slide is 10 less energy, so don't use Rock Slide. Wing Attack, Energy Generation Decrease is bad. Counter, Energy Generation Decrease. So, Counter is now basically a tap-tap uh, fast move. Dig is horrible. Parabolic Charge, it's, uh, it's still a bad move, by the way. But now, it boosts your defense. Body Slam is kind of bad. Swift is actually insane. Swift is basically a, an Aqua Tail clone now. Uh, the new Aqua Tail, not the old one. So, Mud Shot, the damage is buffed. The energy generation decreased. So, this might make it, like, what's in Great League. But in Landorus, it might be better. Because there is a situation on Landorus against Dialga. The, the uh, Sand City Storm doesn't KO. So, now with the extra damage to the Mud Shot, it might do. Okay? I haven't done the Sims. A Future Sight is nerfed. I don't know why. A uh, fire spin does one more damage. This is kind of good for one specific Pokemon, which is Solgaleo. Solgaleo was uh, slightly behind the meta this time, but with the buff, it will be one of the best five Pokemon in Master League. Steel Wing energy generation decrease. So again, this will make a Skarmory a tap tap Pokemon that doesn't generate energy. So think of Steel Wing similar to Razor Leaf that does slightly less damage and generates slightly a bit more energy. Metal Claw. So if they buff Metal Claw to do two more damage, uh, Empoleon will be insane. Uh, Ferathon will be insane. The Alga will literally run Metal Claw. The Lion, Necrozma, Duskmane will be insane as well. Trailblaze, energy generation decrease. So Trailblaze currently is a... Uh, a flame charge clone but the problem with, trail, with the, the thing about uh, flame charge it's good on talon flame because talon flame has incinerate which does lots of damage so even if you have a bad charge move your fast move damage will be enough for the charge move to not be bad but with trailblaze everything that has trailblaze doesn't have the best fast moves in the game or doesn't have the best stats so stuff with trailblaze always lacking the damage so this is actually a good uh, change so good and niantic that they noticed that zap cannon chance to lower the opposing at pokemon attack is decreased so i said that it's decreased and i said that niantic generally doesn't nerf pokemons that are paid to get and then someone in chat Someone called me out in the comments said, oh, what about Rayquaza? It's a pay to get Pokemon and got nerfed. Well, they nerfed the chance, but they didn't nerf the damage. Where like Pokemons that are in the wild and free to get for everyone, they nerf the damage, they nerf, the, they, they nerf everything basically about it. But like, usually legendaries because you spend money, so they, they are like a bit more aware on nerfing them. Because with the Breaking Swipe, it, has, it was a special case. Breaking Swipe was so OP on Steelix. It wasn't as OP on uh, on uh, Rayquaza. So they had to fix that problem by nerfing it for everyone. With Zap Cannon, the, the thing about Zap Cannon, Zap Cannon was OP enough without any debuff on Registeel. Because Registeel used to lose to Fighters and Water Pokemons because Water resists Steel, right? So the thing about Zap Cannon, when they gave it to Registeel, Registeel became a nightmare to water Pokemon. So stuff like, if you have a, an insane rank Registeel in the Ultra League, which most people at high MMR have, you can grab two shields from Polyrath, because you get to two Zap Cannons. The, the debuff is just there. So now they lowered the chance for the debuff, but Registeel should still be usable, because the meta is still water. Smackdown. Hopefully this will get past the out of the meta, especially with the double nerf to uh, Grass Hole. We see that SmackDown is nerfed, Razor Leaf is nerfed. Astonish, one of the biggest buffs in the season. Everything with Astonish is good. Fairy Wind will do more damage. Uh, I think this will specifically be it's better on like two po two main Pokemons. Number one is Florgus. Florgus is actually insane, going to be in Master League Premier. Number two, I think Togetic and Themed Cups. Togetic and Great League Themed Cups. Karate Chop, Energy Generation, Increase. So the thing about Karate Chop, because they nerfed counted, so stuff like Machamp are bad. So now Machamp might be actually better with Karate Chop, because Karate Chop currently is Vine Whip clone, or Powdered Snow clone. It's, it has similar stats to Vine Whip, and uh, 
and Power Snow. Now it will generate more energy, which will make Machamp more of like a Pokemon that throw more charge moves. So I do think that Karate Chop is actually going to make Machamp much, much better because last season they also buffed the Cross Chop last season. So technically this is two buffs for Machamp. Uh, Mud Slab is a better Dragon Tail now because they in in increased the energy generation and they increased the damage. So mud everything with Mud Slap is going to be OP. So, uh, poison Sting is good, but remember that Mud Slappers are OP. So be aware of using stuff with Mud Slap. Side Wave Energy Generation increase. Uh, Malamar is actually going to have a decent play. Uh, rollout. Uh, it's actually one of the biggest buffs in, in the entire history of GBL. They never give three three damage to one fast move. Then they do that to us. They did that to astonish, and they also did it to sideways to roll to roll out, and also to sucker punch. So sucker punch is basically the old counter, the current season counter, not next season counter. Okay, which will make Yeveltal insane. Why? Because currently Yeveltal in Master League is in a, is in a weird spot because you beat the Alga as long as you land the Focus Blast, but if you don't land the Focus Blast, the Alga wins. But with Sucker Punch being a good fast move, pressure uh, fast move, you will need to land one charge move. That's it, and then after that you can just fast move all the way down. Sky attack, massively nerf. Anything with a sky attack might be bad, with one exception. Lugia might be better now, slightly, because sky attack is just a horrible charge move that Lugia has. So now it at least will do slightly more damage. By slightly, it's 10 more damage. Surf, don't use it. Uh, Bone club, actually decent, very decent. Okay, Shadow Awak will be back. Brutal Swing, insane. This is very good. Brutal Swing is now an Aqua Tail clone, so you actually might, you actually don't need to run. Dragon Claw on uh, on uh, on Guzzlord. You can just run Brutal Swing Sludge now. Nightshade. Uh, I think they will just give it to some community day moves. Pokemon. Uh, Power Gym. Energy energy cost decreased and and damage increased. This will make Shadow Sableye much better. This will make because Carbink Rock Slide is nerfed. So that's a Pokemon that people will call me as like because I said everything that pay to get doesn't get big nerfs right so stuff like carving it's not an affordable pokemon it's a pokemon that's literally always paired with events and you have to raid it or like use incense to get it right so they nerfed rock slide but they buffed power gem so now you don't run rock slide on uh, on carving you run power gem see so they nerfed something but they buffed something else because this pokemon is just extremely tough to get uh, Shadow Punch, uh, buffed to be an Aqua Tail clone. Uh, this is whatever, Lady and Fortress is decent now because you can use it as an anti-flyer Pokemon because it has Rock Tomb. Uh, something to mention here, Clefable is insane. Dogetic is good. Tabulele, I don't care that much. Pangoro has a decent spot, but Pangoro is like a Sims hero. It's like a, it's like on Scrafty last couple seasons. It's always in the top five because the Sims always assume that the opponent will shield the bait. Spiritomb is actually decent. Uh, Galarian Slowbro, now you can just run Brutal Swing. Uh, Oranguru. Oranguru is actually decent in themed cups. So any themed cup where you can use Oranguru, use it. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it for today. Overall, uh... Overall, great update by Niantic. Thank you so much. This is good job on doing the season. We have uh, Halloween plus Gal G uh, uh, Galarian Generation uh, themed season, which is actually good. I'm actually extremely hyped to play this. And themed cups are good one, good choice on all of them, to be honest. And some one thing left to do, which is I hope they um, they fix uh, the current state of the game. It's still like uh, there's like still like tons of tons of frame drops, which is sometimes makes us like uh... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like I don't, I don't even know, like, like I don't even remember the word. Like uh, it makes the game frustrating to play. I think that's what I was looking uh, to to find. Overall, as I say, as I just said, great update. Hopefully they fix the. Uh, Hopefully they fix the frame drops and it will be probably the best seasons ever in the in the Go Battle League. Thank you so much everyone for watching. This is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like uh, as even these videos take forever uh, of analysis before even recording. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, night or whatever you're having. Please let me know what you're most excited about so I can keep, keep it in mind and try to make content about it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.